Alright, what's up guys? So, this is the first dungeon of The Legend of Zelda. And, um, yeah. We'll see how this goes. It's been a while since I've done the dungeons. It's been a while since I've played this game. I know I keep mentioning that, but it just feels... You know, I... It's just been such a, a long time since I've been able to dive into games. <clears throat> I think I've mentioned this on another video, but like, doing acapella videos, it really gets me into the mode, the mode to where like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'll play games for just a second to get some gameplay, or just a section of a game, but then I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll have to end it because I'll go straight to recording another video. And, um, that's why I'm having fun doing these gameplay videos, because it's like, this is an excuse for me to, like, sit down and, like, play through a game. Like, this is, like, I just love the fact that I'm, like, sitting here playing Zelda and I know I'm gonna beat it. <laughs> Even if I, uh, you know, struggle along the way. But there's so many games that I want to play. I have a huge list I've already made of, like, games I want to play. And record. I've got two keys. But yep, yeah, I think I mentioned it, but like, one of the things I really like about like, these, you know, the fact that I'm doing gameplay videos now is that like, I'm playing through games, some of them that I, I really am familiar with, like this game I'm semi-familiar with. Some games I, I'm, I'm probably gonna go into completely blind, some games I'm like super familiar with, some games I'm not familiar with at all, I think I said that before. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. No, but what I was getting at is that, uh, I'm, it'll be interesting to see me go blind through, like, see if I can play through a game blind on recording and just not, like, mess it up. Because I've got some, like, there's so many, um, like, RPGs that I haven't played. Oh, there's the map. Okay. Let's go up first. And RPGs can be frustrating to play through blind, especially... I don't know. I may have to break out guides like I did when I was a kid, like playing through Ocarina of Time the first time I, I broke out a guide for most of it just because it was like, it was difficult and I wanted to make sure I was doing it right and those guides were so cool back then. I love it. It's like it looks like you're playing a two-dimensional side scroller. And we have the bow. So we have the bow and arrows. So we're good. So I may actually break out the bow. I can't remember what the stipulations on the bow is. Yeah, it costs a rupee per arrow shot. Okay, that's what it is. You don't actually collect arrows, you just collect rupees! What am I doing? Oh my gosh! That thing I was telling, I said in, um, earlier, in the, I think it was the last episode, where like, you could be pushing over, but if you're pushing over and then you like lean, the, lean up or down, it still goes up or down, it's, it feels really weird. Not into it. Not into it at all. But that will just make this more challenging. Which, you know, may be more entertaining for you guys. I don't know. I really don't know. Dude, okay, I need to chill out. Chill out. Dude. Bam, dude. There's the boomerang. It's programmed awesome for an old NES game. It actually comes back to you, like... On a path. Stupid hands, man. I hate him. Go away. Oh, man. I swear. What am I doing? There we 
There we go. Boom. Dude. That rules. Well, there's the first dungeon. Nice. So, there's a piece of the Triforce in every one of the dungeons. That's the story. In the very first Zelda, it's not like... There's three, you know, pieces of the Triforce. They, they hadn't, like, nailed down the story yet. We have the boomerang now, so we can get stuff from afar. Man, I may have to, like, look up where the other dungeons are, because I don't even remember the order. And I think it matters in the old Zelda, like, which ones you do. Hmm. We shall see. For now, I'm just going to go explore. I'll see what I come up on. I'm not even going to pretend. I, I knew the first dungeon was up there. It was like back in the days where you had to like have a Nintendo Power magazine. To beat these games properly. <laughs> or just play them for like a hundred hours or more. I think this is a store, right? Dude, I beat that dungeon way faster than I thought I would. Getting the sword and getting these... Getting the ring was such a good idea. And the heart pieces. And I didn't even have to use a potion. Hmm. So you can buy an extra key with that. I wonder if you'll actually need to buy a key. I don't remember needing to buy a key. For any dungeon or anything, at least. One of the funny things about Zelda is, like, all, like, all the mobs actually have, like, names. That's where I bought my bombs earlier. I don't need to buy any bombs. But yeah, all the, all the mobs actually have, like, names. Like, like-like? We, we haven't seen any of those yet, I don't think. But they're like these goofy little pancake-looking things, I think. Oh man, we get the raft later. Yeah, one problem about like the old-school Zelda games is that scenery looks really generic. So like memorizing the maps gets kind of hard. Because you'll be at one area and you... And, you know, even though it does look different than... I don't think there are any secrets in these guys. We'll see. Still take several hits to kill, don't they? What's here? A secret is in the tree at the dead end. I think I already got that secret. One of the reasons why I like RPGs like this so much, and why I think Zelda is one of my just favorite series, is that it, I love games that you can just explore in. Games that you explore, you're rewarded for exploring. And, you know, like, the rewards make your character more powerful, uh, make it more fun to play. I just, I mean, like, right now, I'm not even sure where the second dungeon... I'm gonna have to look it up <laughs> after, after I... After this episode's done, if I don't find it. But, like, it's just so rewarding to, like, walk around in a game and just find stuff. Dungeons, monsters, whatever. And the fact that it's challenging, you know, um... Some people dig the challenge. I dig the challenge because it's rewarding, but like, it's one of those deals where, I don't know, it's just like, I, the story of the game is cool. Even even like this story, kind of, it's old, it's old and generic. It's still fun. Especially like, back when this game came out, like there was nothing like this, honestly. And that's what makes it fun. It's just such a, especially as a kid, it was such a unique experience. Like it, it, it's like shaping, it like shapes you. Oh man, okay, now we're back up here. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna have to go look up where Dungeon 2 is and probably bring up a list so just so I have an idea of where I'm going. <laughs> but, um, thank you for coming and watching me beat Dungeon 1. And Charles was completely uninterested. 
but he was here. Nevertheless, as my power-up, IRL. So uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.